In this video, we are going to use the Excel to do a five-step hypothesis test to determine if the mean of the drinks per month among the male students is significantly different from the mean of drinks per month among the female students. The five steps is really clear at the bottom. Step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. Right? So the step one is the non hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. So the non hypothesis in the t test is always being there is no difference. The no difference means um, the mu one equals two mu two. Okay? The alternative hypothesis here, we have several choices. One, you can say mu1 is larger than mu2. Boys drinks more than girls. Male students drinks more than female students. You can say male students drinks drink less than female students. Or you can say there is a difference, but I don't know the direction, right? So it really based on um it really depends on what's the question you ask. Here, the question asks, is there a significantly different? So, there is this, therefore, this is a non-directional test. So for the non-directional test, we can only assume that they are different. We don't know which one is bigger, which one is more, it's just they are different, okay? So for the second step, we are going to see the distribution or identify the distribution. Of course, we are going to use the t distribution. It's a small sample, like 20 students. Um, we're using the t distribution, this distribution. Okay, and also uh, we needed to figure out the degree of freedom. And also in the step three, we need to um, look at the table. Traditionally, we look at the t table to figure out the critical value for the t, right? And also, uh, in the step four, we need to calculate our obtained value for the t. And step five, we compare those two values and also maybe the p value we just mentioned. Um, to know whether we should accept the non-hypothesis or we reject the non-hypothesis. So we can do the degree of freedom, critical t value, obtained t value, or from the Excel. Excel will calculate those things for us. Okay. So as you know, that if we do this independent sample t test, the first of the things you got to figure out is whether they are having equal population variances. Okay, we have independent sample, t-test, equal population variances assumed, and also independent var sample, t-test, unequal population variances assumed. They are different. So in order to test it, we, um, using the data, we use a f-test to know whether they are having equal population variances or not, okay? So in order to do that, the first of the thing, we need to group the data a little bit, okay? Just select the gender because we're looking at the male, female, and sort it. Mm, let's see, click sort, whatever. Which one, which way you do is fine, okay? You can do this one, or you can do female first. It doesn't matter, okay? So uh, it really gives you a way that to group the female students and the male students, okay? So we click data analysis, F-test to samples of averages, okay? For the variable one, range from the females, carefully, oh, I'm sorry, we should do the drinks per month, right? Um, for the range two, we do the drinks per month for the fee, uh, male students. No labels, we didn't select any labels, so click OK.
what we will see is the F test. Okay, um, so for the female, they actually drinks a little bit more than the males per month. Female has average drink about 17.5. Males have average about 16.8. Okay, the F is this one. The critical F is this one. Um, so the critical F is larger than the obtained F. We cannot reject the non-hypothesis. And also from the p-value, we mentioned p-value, we always have the cut point 0.05, right? The p-value is larger than 0.05, so we cannot reject the non-hypothesis. And in this F-test, the non-hypothesis is that they have equal population variances. We cannot reject this one, so we accept it, right? Once we accept it, we know that we are going to do a t-test with equal population variances. So now we're going to click data, data analysis. Um, going to the, looking for the t-test. Um, the t-test to sample assuming equal variances. So the variable one will be the female drinks per month. And variable two will be the male drinks per month. We use a 0 0.05 and we click OK. Now this table give us um, the t-test for two sample t-test equal variances assumed, right? So here we still, this is the female and this is the male. So we can see that the degree of freedom it gives us is 18. Okay, cool, pretty cool, right? Um, the critical value, because we are doing non-directional test. Okay, non-directional test means it can go positive way or negative way. So it's really a two-tailed test. So the T critical will be 2.101. Okay, the obtained value here it gives us is 0.14. Oh, that's a very small one. Okay, now and also you can see this one the t obtained value is very very smaller than the t critical value. Therefore, we cannot we cannot reject the null hypothesis. So we have to t of 10 is less than t critical. So we have to accept the null hypothesis. The null hypothesis is there is no difference between males and the females regarding their drinks per month. It just there is no difference. Okay. Now you will say yes, I see the difference. Female has 17.5, male has 16.8. That's a difference. That's an absolute number. That's a difference. But the difference is not a significant difference, statistically speaking. Okay. Also you can see that um, we can accept the non hypothesis by take a look at the p value that excel gave us the cut point is 0 0.05 and the p value here is 0 0.89 so we cannot reject the non hypothesis we cannot reject the non hypothesis we have to accept the non hypothesis right so the last thing is like some people doing this one in a more traditional way. Um, so once they have their degree of freedom, 18, um, we can actually go to the T table to look at if the T critical is 2.101. So the T table look like this one, right? It's in the handouts, the T table, and we're looking for the degree of freedom, 18. 
this line right and also for the column we're looking for the two tail point of five going down point two point one oh one that's just the exact same number okay so that's it um by the way if you have a different results from this f test let's say you have the p-value like 0.01 then this is less than the cut point we have so we have to reject the null hypothesis which basically means the equal variance equal variances are not assumed so it's they are unequal right so we are go we will be using um the data analysis will be using the assuming unequal variances in that situation but everything else is the same the results is the same to interpret okay and also if you are looking at the data uh, like a pre post test um, for example um, there is a treatment um, and the people who receive this treatment and we want to see if the treatment gives them the differences before the treatment or after the treatment, then you will be using something called the paired to sample, okay, or matched sample. But it's still the same thing. You put everything uh, in there, a variable one range, variable two range, there, set up the alpha level, and the results will be the same, okay? It, the interpretation will be the same. So, that's it.